Kia ora, good evening, bladers. Now, the reason I'm wearing a helmet is not because Momo redeemed something on stream that forces me to wear it for this. It's because of this clip I'm showing you right here, which uh, takes me back to the feeling of doing a front flip, which I haven't done in 10 years. And to keep it nice and cringe, if we can get 500 likes on this video, I'll try to do a front flip again for the first time in, I think, 10 years, which... <laughs> Won't be fun. So uh, yeah, help me out. But anyway, this is exactly what it feels like to do a front flip. I don't know how anyone does it in the middle of like a comp run like Joe Atkinson does and stuff because it feels so out of control. I swear like you duck, you tuck your head under and you just hope that when you look again, your feet are going to land on the ground when you're not going to front flip forward into a fence like uh, <laughs> this poor dude here. Uh, luckily, he's all right. But holy shit, that couldn't have gone worse, I don't think. I guess he went in between the bars. Oh my God, that's so bad. But anyway, uh, moving on to the actual news. Uh, the Them X Clark collab came out early. I was expecting it at Blading Cup. It's out now. There are four items in this autumn drop with Clark. There are two shoes. It's the Wallabies and the Club Mule Wallabies. And then there are two skates. There's a 909 and Them 80. So uh, my first reaction to this is this is not what I was expecting at all. This has been hyped up for a long time. So I had super high expectations of this. You heard me say this every episode of Blade of News. And uh, I was somewhat disappointed in this drop. I'm not going to lie. The colorway I find very strange. Like I, I look at it and it almost looks like a Photoshop. Like when I'm looking at this, the blue hue doesn't look real, especially on the product pictures. It's almost like it's an edit. Like the blues, which is kind of cool. I'll get them props. It looks like unnatural. I decided to ask you guys what you thought about this collab over on YouTube. And uh, interestingly enough, 90% of the, uh, the responses I got were pretty negative, which I'm surprised. Is that my fault? Am I like brewing negative reactions from you guys? You got to tell me right now if that's the case because uh, that ain't cool. Actually, I'm taking this helmet off, by the way. Fuck you, Momo. Anyway, <laughs> the main thing I saw was people were expecting more. They're kind of disappointed that the only thing kind of unique about the skate is the uh, little leather tag that comes on it, and that's on both versions. And uh, I mean... And also the fact that there already has been a similar 908 like this. So this 908 here was done a long time ago. And it is a different shade of blue. The new blue is a lot. It's like very, very kind of jarring. But uh, yeah, it's kind of like this skater would have been done before is what it felt like to me. And that's the reaction I got from a lot of you guys. So John Julio has been teasing this for ages, talking about how much of a huge deal it was. Which it is. This is a huge collab for blading. Uh, but people were expecting like really expecting a skin skate or at least like a new liner or something. And the fact that the uh, the aggressive skate and the skates in general is, is just products that already exist. It's just a colorway with a new piece of leather. I think it was quite disappointing. But that being said, it can't take away from how much of a huge deal this collab is. This just came out and there already is some coverage all over the place. Some places I never heard of, but it's still... Huge news, like here we have a hard copy already doing a write-up about the setup and like, look how sick this looks. This, this is gonna get to the normies. And uh, and if I had to choose my favorite product out of this line, it's definitely the 80s. I think the blue with the white, I like this more than the, the cream colorway here. Although I get how this kind of looks like the shoe, but I feel like this is gonna sell. That's a cool skate setup. People know Clarks and it's a, it's a product for the normies. So I think this product is gonna be huge for them. And also, I do really like that on the Wallaby shoe here, they did actually add stitching. It's really hard to see, but they added stitching that mimics the like curves of a 909 skate, which I think is a really good touch. And it's cool to see the Clark shoe get altered like that. It has like an actual skating influence, which is huge overall. Now, the price of these skates is kind of crazy too, but you know, it's them. We kind of expect that. They're the price of like a pro skate, but there's no royalties, which some people were mad about. But you know, you got to do what you got to do. Overall, this is a huge net positive for all I think, and a massive congrats to John Julio for this huge collab. Like, here's some more coverage here from High Snob Itty. High Snob Snobity. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. Which, you know, this kind of thing, uh, this is huge. This is really stacks on top of the Brain Dead collab. And uh, maybe the, the colorway isn't for you, but uh, it's going to be for someone and it's going to be good for blading. But yeah, TLDR, I definitely prefer the Brain Dead collabs. I think they were cooler skate wise shout out to alternative skates he had a little mock-up here of some ideas he actually had for the clark skates he, here's like a sway version of the uh the liner which i actually think looks pretty good it does change it up enough to be a little bit better i think uh and that's the probably my favorite out of them though but uh, this is a cool account by the way you should definitely follow it they have a lot of good alternative skate setups and give 
Actually, all skate companies should follow him just to get some ideas on what to do with skates. It's also worth noting that we have not seen the video that they filmed with the director and stuff yet. It's uh, coming soon. So uh, that'll be interesting to see. I know uh, I have a feeling it's going to be on the Clark's YouTube channel, which isn't a big YouTube channel, but they have some really uh, cool videos over there. So it'd be cool to see what them's collab is going to be with that. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it. Am I right in saying that all of you guys are negative about it? I know there's a few of you out there that like them, but if you like them, tell us about it. I want to know uh, how many people are actually going to cop these. The blue is pretty fucking sick, but uh, yeah. But also it's kind of weird. I don't know. I'll flip-flop forever. I have no opinions. <laughs> and while we're speaking about new products, Macroblade just had a huge drop. They had a re-release of their uh, Hilo Rocker metal frame. You can now get it. It has plastic walls. It is made to rock. Uh, two different wheel sizes. The middle one's been 47 millimeters. Now you may be thinking, there's no way you can get a 47 millimeter wheel. Well, luckily they have you covered. They make a 47 millimeter wheel and it's fucking sick. You can set the skates up completely through them with a whole ready to roll setup. And the wheels they have are absolutely sick. They got these beautiful pink ones here. They look like a, I get mushroom blading vibes, which is definitely a compliment. Uh, and then they have the 47 millimeter wheels as well. And I really, really like these ones here. They're like a good color mix of uh, black and white. It looks so cool, man. I wish more people would do this with their wheels. And uh, they look quality too. They look like almost like a like a hand pour. I don't know if that's true, but I like it. Alongside this drop, they did have a uh, video release as well that features Philip Moore, Michael Bro. That's not fucking Michael Bro. I'm sorry, Michael. And Kareem. And uh, yeah, my highlight was that clip you just saw there, which is uh, Philip doing a uh, negative Marchio transfer to negative Marchio, which is uh, something I've never seen before. And I can't imagine even... On a rail, man, on the circle rail. Philip is the man, one of my favorite dudes to watch skate. I love him. He's a good dude and he's a good skater. Definitely check that one out. Moving back to new skates though, Rosies has continued full step ahead with a brand new skate drop that Lino actually leaked a bit early in one of his streams. He had the box of these skates and it said on the box that it was a Yoto Goto Pro Skate and that it had a uh, like color shift sole plate. But uh, this is not what I was expecting and it actually looks very good. I like it. Uh, and it's cool to see Yoto get looked after. I'm hanging out for the edit for this. It's not out yet. And I'm sure it's going to be so clean and so nice like Yoto always does. And uh, shout out to the uh, owner of Rosie's who always puts these behind the scenes pictures. That they make the skate look better, I think. I don't know. It, looks, it makes it look more real. I like it. I really enjoy this behind the scenes look of the different parts. And uh, yeah, Rosie's are killing it right now. But there's a lot of other skates to talk about. Uh, and the first one is a leak of a skate that's not released yet that was spotted in the wild. And look at this great high quality picture I got for you. It is a Aeon. It is a brown Aeon being skated. I can't remember who was skating. I can't remember who was skating. But uh, I have a pretty strong lead that this is a Yasutoko Brothers skate. They're finally getting a pro skate, the best vert skaters in the world. I don't know which brother's skate it's going to be, but uh, both of them have voluntarily earned it. It's good to see USD looking after the best vert skaters in the world still. These dudes have been killing it since they were like really young <laughs> and uh, they're a huge inspiration to me and I'm sure a lot of you as well and uh, this is your excuse right now to go hit that vert ramp that you never want to skate it's way more fun than you think go skate it shout out to Malachi the young dude here is killing it and he's probably watching this shout out Malachi but anyway uh, there's another USD skate that's actually not a leak and an official drop and that is the uh, Aaron Feinberg 25 year anniversary pro skate that they're making this is the first of the classic skates that uh power side is working on to make now to bring back some people's favorites this looks a little different than the original but it's still a good looking skate and this is once again a skate that i wasn't around for so i do not recognize it at all but uh, i do like the colorway it's very clean very nice the little red highlights and uh the aeon is a good skate so uh it's good all around uh we did see someone asking uh if he gets royalties for this i would assume he does i don't know why i don't think they can just make a skate with his name on it and not give him royalties but uh, it has not been confirmed I will email and check after this and add it in right now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you'll notice this is actually a Aeon 70. At least that's what I'm thinking here, which is a, a weird choice. Uh, the Aeon 70 is definitely uh, the best way to skate aggressive on a 72 mil wheel, but it's definitely, it's not an Aeon 60, you know? An Aeon 60 is the most popular one for a reason. So that's a really weird choice. I don't know why they would have done that, Like, but uh, it's cool. Uh, but yeah, I do say, I will say I prefer the original skate. There's something about this just looks so different. Like, it looks so much more, you know, it's just a completely different vibe. I don't know if it's the uh, the soul plate, the eyelids, the shape, this cuff. It's just, it's not the same vibe, you know. The skate, it's different. But yeah, we're not done there. Uh, we got an update on uh, Law's skate. If you didn't know, if you missed the episode of Blade of News, Law is making some aggressive skates from scratch. So we sent them over drawings to say, hey, this is what we would like the skates to look like, and this is what we'd like them to function like. And they said, great. And they tried to modify it and they couldn't. 
Now they're just going to take the drawings and they're going to say, okay, blue sky, we're just going to build whatever you want. You know, we've, we've done, I don't know how many frames, but it's all the compass frames, all of the balance two frames, and all of the prime frames are at this factory. So thousands of frames so far, um, and only more, you know, we've got more on the ocean, um, and we've got more in production right now. So they know that we are serious about this. And I can't tell you how excited I am for this drop. It's gonna be so good. Like I see this every time, I'm gonna keep saying it, but every time Lord does a review and he talks about a skate that I skated, he'll say things that I like subconsciously didn't even realize I didn't like about these skates. Like I'd be like, oh weird, I can't do this trick on them. And then he'll say, oh, they're really like, they've got like a weird heel raise and it makes it bad to do back rear outs. I just, I'm really excited to see what he does, man. And uh, it's so cool, man. It's so cool to see people doing such cool shit in blading. Shout out to Law, you're the fucking man. And uh, yeah, thank you. Hopefully uh, one day I'll reach out to you, I swear. And uh, we will, I'll get some inside scoop. He'll give it to me, right, Law? You'll give me, you'll give me, you tell me the first, right? You'll tell me, you'll be the first one to know about these skates coming out, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, we got the official release of the new Misma skates as well. The ones for uh, Dominic Bruce. And uh, I just really appreciate the effort they went to for the uh, posts promoting it. It's not just a picture of the skate. It's a whole, what do you call it? I don't remember the name. It's got a name. I learned this in school. It's like a like a collage. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, it's really cool. There's a lot of personality to it. And the skate, I know it's like vom green, but it's fucking sick. I do like it. A lot of good colorways coming out. Good colorways. There's a lot of colorways going out in the last time. And I do like it. So congrats again to Dominic Bruce and... Uh, I, uh, Tom Moyes pointed this out, the fact that Mesma, they changed even the color of their uh, Instagram picture while the skate comes out, which I think is a really nice touch. Good marketing all around from them. Very excited for this brand. Uh, and speaking of good marketing, Rollerblade has a limited edition twist skate that came out and they've been doing these really sick fucking like CG, like little body promos like this. And I absolutely love them. Someone's put a lot of effort and love into this. I could have just been like a fiver thing, I guess. But I, I appreciate the effort that Rollerblade's putting into here. And those skates look very nice, man. The colorway's like a like a purpley, like shiny thing. It looks great. It's a sick looking skate. Uh, and then to round off, speaking of things looking really sick, check out this uh, art from, uh, this is where I got the clip for the front flip at the start of the show. Some really cool uh, skate art from, uh, once again, you should follow him. Hey, Jayoshin. I definitely said that wrong. I'm sorry, dude. But this is some, he's such a good artist. Really good vibes. Uh, if you follow him, you have a really nice feed of roll blading art every so often. Shout out to him. And then we got a brand new wheel from the Mushroom Blading Boys, the Legions themselves. And this is the Goldilocks wheel, which is a 50, sorry, a 65 mil wheel, 90A, which is a weird size. And uh, I just wanted to talk about this because I absolutely love the uh, the marketing that Mushroom Blading does. It's so cool. I got their uh, little brochure you get here when you get some wheels. Oh, sorry, it's a 50-50 one. And... Uh, there was another one, and it talked about uh, they have the very uh, the very small goal of becoming uh, as big as Senate. So uh, <laughs> shout out to uh, Mushroom Blading. Great vibes, 50% uh, uh, core, not quite 100% yet. But uh, yeah, they're killing it. They're on fire right now, you could say. Uh, speaking of wheels, though, Stefan Brando. He just uh, dropped a new promo for a brand new Chroma signature series i'm going to call it because it's not just a wheel it's also an anti-rocker and they are beautiful purple and green i'll show you uh he, it was a really good edit by the way i'll link to that as well make sure you check it out shout out stephen brander he's a man but he not only got this beautiful purple and green wheel here that's uh the usual chroma set up with the beautiful box he also got this purple and green hand poured anti-rocker made by uh chroma as well comes with bearings pre-installed absolutely sick great combo great dude and a great way to support a great skater good royalties all around and i absolutely love it look how sick these are man i absolutely love that colorway this anti rocker looks sick it's a shame i skate flat but yeah congrats again and i'm so glad to see chroma looking after their team riders and uh speaking of really cool people making cool stuff here's some really cool solomon skates that uh dark mage has here's some 3d printed soul plates that uh justin thursday made on them and I just really like these Solomons. They look really good, I think. I don't know, something about this colorway and the size of them. I think I get the Solomon thing right now. I think I get it. And it's because of this picture right there. So shout out to Dark Mage. Also check out his buckles and his primals because they're both fucking sick, okay? He's the man. Follow him. Uh, and speaking of 3D printed stuff, here's a completely 3D printed skate. 
And by completely, I mean just the boot. But uh, <laughs> here's proof we already live in that time. And you know, I made a whole video talking about how uh, eventually you're going to be able to pirate skates. You know, <laughs> uh, well, here's proof that you can do it right now. You know, if you got the file, you can just print a pair of uh, skates. But uh, I mean, the dude's skating it and he's killing it on them. Look, he's doing gaps and stuff. They're holding up. We are living in the future. Soon, instead of buying the new Them X Clark collab and waiting ages for it to ship to you in New Zealand. Oh, wait, no one lives in New Zealand. Uh, instead, you'll just be printing them at home and it's going to be just as good as uh, if you picked them up from the store. It's just around the corner, man. It's kind of insane. You're going to look back at this and be like, wow. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> and then there was a really cool comp over in Poland featuring a bunch of young killers absolutely killing it. I'll link you to this Instagram here of some highlights. All of them were really thrown down. There's some really good tricks happening there, some good flow and some perfect flips. And uh, it gives me a lot of hope for the future once again of Bladers. There's so many young dudes killing it in blading right now. And it's so, so cool to see. I'm so happy to see it. You know, there's nothing better. Uh, check that one out. Congrats to all the people who uh, won in this competition. Uh, and then I have a quick edit you should check out as well by uh, Safety Grab himself. Some very creative skating. He is the mono roll king. There is no one doing mono rolls like him and all the variations of mono rolls. No one can beat him at all. And uh, I really enjoy this little piece here. Just the editing, the pacing, the uh, creativity of it all is really good. And definitely check it out. And check out all the edits he's put together. They're really, really good. It'll give you some new looks on some tricks and a different way to approach obstacles. It's really good. And moving on to a possible world's first. Someone call me out right now, but here's a uh, quad skater. Shot to our quad skaters doing a... A stall to front flip into the, the mini ramp. Front flip into the mini ramp. Can you imagine? I mean, you know, you stand at the top of a short mini ramp like that and, and like envision doing a front flip before you land on the ramp. That's absolutely insane. Massive props to Anders. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Is it a world's first though? Someone, someone say they're wrong. Okay. That's what people love to do, right? Call it out as wrong. And then while well, you watch this perfect lines of our boy Russell Day, the Adapt Pro, the dude who comes in the chat here. He's the fucking man. We love him. I want to give a huge thank you to my Blade News correspondents as well as the rest of my patrons and members and everyone in the chat right now that's giving you these breaking news stories in this banner right below. I really appreciate them being here and hanging out with me and listening to me pronounce names wrong and uh, just do a lot of things and help me out and uh, make it fun. If you want to be a part of that, join me on Twitch every week. It's fun, good vibes. And uh, yeah... Shout out to Russell Day. I want you to see this whole clip because it's really fucking good, okay? I think you did see it. He did the hard spin. He did a hard spin. The outspin 360 top one. So sick. And if you somehow haven't had enough Blade News yet, check out this extra long episode they did last week for uh, to get you fully caught up in everything that's happening right now. And yeah, thank you so much, chat, for being here. You guys rule. Uh, shout out to uh, ScrotaTube, Viper, Junk, Momo's here somewhere, Blading Coach, Pin, Farmer, Handshakeage, Junk. <laughs>